Messiah that they would have an Elijah and Elisha experience under the Osiah. Yes, Lord, under the Osiah. Anoint them afresh under the Osiah. Baptize of the Holy Spirit be upon this airway today. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One, I break up every force of the evil one. No, Why are you praying and laying hands on them, God? I'm the Diddy Osiah. I'm the Lolololosi. Won't you release the head, Joshua? A protection around my brothers and sisters, Oshabi. I'm the Diddy Osiah. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, Oshabu. I'm a man, the Lolololosi. He am the Lolololosi, Oshabi. Lolololosi, and the Osiah. Lolololosi. Around my brothers and sisters, Oshabi. Their area of operation is protected. I'm the Lolololosiah. Signs and wonders. I'm the Lolololosiah. They follow them under the Diosaya. The Lord Oshaba is their shepherd under the Diosiah. Why you laying hands on them, God? They shall want for nothing under the Diosiah. Every bill is paid under the Diosiah. Under the Diosiah Oshaba, there is no more debt. Okabosata, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One, Oshaba, the victories and the surplus of God, Oshaba, is released. Why you laying hands on them, Oshaba? Open up the windows of heaven, Father. Please, O Shabbat, and pour them out blessings that they don't have room enough to receive. O Shabbat, hallelujah to God. I'm the Lalalosia. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. I'm the Lalalosia. Thank you, God. I'm the Lalalosia. Thank you, God. I'm the Lalalosia. Oh, bless your name. I shall bow. I'm the Lalalosia. Now, quicken thy mean thy word, Lord. Quicken, quicken, quicken thy people in thy word, Lord. The demonstration of thine anointing, the demonstration of victory, Lord, be upon your people tonight. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One, signs and wonders, Lord, be upon them, Lord. And I just thank you and I praise you, Lord. I thank you and I praise you, Lord, for the river of reunion, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the new reunions, Lord. Those that were lost, Lord. Those that needed to come back and find family, Oshapa. Thank you for being our Father, and we your sons and daughters. I feel my family in the reunion, Lord, of the people of God coming together, Lord. It's because of the waters. We connect with creation and the creator. And you're bringing us together. Where there was malice and strife, Lord, thy peace overrides. The demonstration of thy peace. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name. 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 This water, this water, this water for you, my brothers and sisters. It runs home. Oh, Shapa. This destination runs home. Oh, Shapa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Israelites knew what it was like to wonder. They had done so in the desert for 40 years. Oshaba. And I tell you, you want to get on this reunion. They, they knew what it was like to wander in the wilderness right after God had brought them out. Because of murmuring and complaining and distractions. And, the, and uh, often would say an attraction to a distraction will always give you a negative reaction. Listen, there's no longer, this is no longer time for you to wonder and wander around and, and, and going in circles and, and never getting to the fullness. This, this path, this travel, this destination, this fresh water takes you home. It leads you home. It leads you home. It leads you home. It leads you home. It lead you home. God has a place for you. God has a place for you. The shepherd knew what it was to search the land for grazing grass. The years of captivity and exile were the mark of indepliable on the minds of all the Hebrews who often had what? They had lived 
far from home. You got to come home now. So often in the history, there were, there were pilgrims. And the writer of Hebrews describes the, the plight and also their eternal hope. And we have that hope. Our plight and our sight is set on the things above. It's set on the things above. Sunset and evening stars. And one clear call for me. And many there be no, mo no moaning of the bar. When I put out to sea, but such tide as moving seems asleep. Too full, far sounds and foam. When that which drew from out of the bottomless deep turns again home. It's time to come home. You know, oftentimes, you know, this 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 year, you know, um, people that I normally talk to and try to reach out to, you know, because my 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 um, my vision was that, you know, um, to do the 72 hours where, you know, you just had people and people took hours and they just prayed all the way through. You know, you prayed your hour and you prayed your hour and you prayed that hour. But, you know, let me tell you something. It's hard to get people to pray because people are wandering out of place, out of position. And Yehovah wants to do something new for all of us. All of us, not just me, not just you, but for everybody. This is a space where Yehovah can move for you. This is that space. Won't you come home now? Won't you allow him? Won't you allow him to be Lord of your life? Won't you move away from confusion and tradition? I'm not telling you not to go to them places and this and that. And I'm not telling you that these people are all wrong because they're not. They're doing the best that they know how to do. But I know that your relationship and your fellowship and your connection with Yehovah is personal. It's personal. And, you know, you got so many different things going on. You know, like I shared with you last night, I went to the to the service and, you know, I was I was just going to be there for a minute because a good friend of mine went there. But when I seen all them cell phones pop open, I just, you know, it just lets you know, even as if some people would say, you know, to me, they would say, Zari, you're not old. I say I say I'm old or I'm say I'm getting old. Well, look, if you got grandchildren, you know, um, I got grandchildren. I got grown children. Um, I know I don't like doing steps. I know I like to eat a certain time of the day and I require a nap. Now, to me, that's getting old. And then just the things, the times that I've seen change, the way things are changing so fast. Listen, I, you know, it behooves me what? Teach me to number my days. I remember when we used to have freezer ice box. I remember when we had um, the wash machine. I, I remember the scrub board, the washing board. And I also remember when they had these, um, these like spins, you, you know, you had the wash machine and you put it through this, uh, these, um, like rollers, uh, I, I don't, but it was a wash machine. I don't ever remember a dryer. You hung your, your clothes out on the clothesline. I remember that. I remember where the milkman, you didn't go to the store and buy milk. You had a box on your on your porch or on your wherever you on the front of your door and that's where the milkman would, would bring the milk and they would bring blocks of ice because it was an ice box it wasn't a, it wasn't a freeze refrigerator making ice you know so so many different things are going on you know my car talks to me my you know you got different things the the, the truck can climb up rocks and all the jeep can climb up rocks and and just so many different things are going on and the same way it is in the church because what they do is they try to use theory 
and technology in church. And, you know, the main thing that's going to do it in the church is just basics. I mean, let me tell you something. The things that the old mothers and and the uh, and the fathers and they taught us. Let me tell you something. You know, I, I you know, people say there's God is doing a new thing. Well, guess what? Now, you can quote me or you can you can quote me and shoot me down. But I'm just going to quote scripture. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. And I understand, he says, behold, I do a new thing. But there's nothing new as it pertains to the things of God. We, we, have to, we have to have a space or an area where God's presence can dwell. And if God's presence can dwell there, then the people can be helped. But God's presence has to be there. And the, and the presence doesn't go by how many keys you got on the keyboard and the organ. And how many guitars you got, and all that stuff. No, it, it does that. That doesn't institute, and that doesn't that doesn't usher in God's presence. But where I know God's presence will come is when you have a sold out life, a vested life in the things of God. Now, this may not be popular to many of you, Amen. And we're gonna go back, and I'm gonna play a little music, and we're gonna hear some little more praying. But I just wanted to share with you about heavenly waters. And that was my experience. And, you know, um, I had wanted so many people to to just help me with this. And uh, the Lord picked just a few. Now, the majority of people that I that I called, I didn't have any problem. They just prayed. And the people that I wanted to call, he wouldn't let me call because they would have said, no, let me tell you something. God will interrupt. God will interrupt your space. And your plans and your schedules and your timelines. Why? Because he's trying to but he's trying to be glorified and bring glory to himself through our space and through our sacrifice. And I'm going to tell you something, too. They can talk about it, but I know something to be true. This is the third annual 72 hours. And I'm going to tell you, every 72 hours, God has moved over those 12 months afterwards. He has moved favorably in 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 my life and i know some of the people that have been connected to it i've seen so many miracles in 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 this space i've seen so many miracles over the last 12 months i mean miracles and i'm not talking about that stuff where you yelling and screaming and then and no results i'm talking about where people are being healed delivered and set free and there is a there's another level that we're going to go into this year. I'm believing God, Amen, that the greater works would come, that there would be another manifestation of God's power. Listen, you know there used to be anointing over the people of God. Where listen, if you seen their shadow, Oshaba, you'd fall out in the spirit. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, if you touched them, you would fall out. Why? And you know, if I remember, I remember. Um, pastor would just say two or three words and it would be so thick the anointing would be so thick and the presence of God would be so thick you couldn't even move but now we got all these other things going on and a lot of these things become distraction because really is wilt thou build me a house that I may dwell in like I dwelt in in times past and times past and that's what we want to get we want to get in our spirit. I'm going to give you one more scripture as I know the Lord is telling me to read this scripture. But this scripture is another scripture in uh, Jude. Uh, verse verse three. Bless. No, beloved. When I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common, common, common salvation and common salvation, when you study that, we, we, we're not going to go into detail, but common salvation is made up salvation. It's made up. And, and this is what happens. And this is why you have all these different denominations and all these different ways to get to God and all and all this other stuff. See, he says, beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful. For me to write unto you and exhort you that you should what earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. See, because, 
you know, we got so many people with titles and different things and all kind of stuff. And believe it or not, the enemy has slipped in here. I mean, you know, well, you guys got to know it yourself. I mean, you just look, you turn on the news and you turn on all the different things.